What's up guys, for those of you who don't know, my name's Jason, and you're watching Wild Herbs Fishing Adventures. And on today's episode, I'm going to show you how we catch shad and keep it for a whole day of fishing. Stay tuned. Now the first thing we got to do is go get some ice before we go catch shad. Now let's go do that now. Shad and now the first thing we got to do before we throw our cast net is make sure there's no tangles in it. And let's just do that by spreading out all the line. Now what you got to do first is coil up all the line in your right or left hand, whichever one you prefer. And then I grab it by the horn. This is called the horn. And then I grab it about halfway down, fold it until it's about at my waist, and then I'm. I do it the simple way. I just take one line, put it in my mouth, and then grab the other end right in front. And then when you throw it, you want to let go of all this first, and then swing this around before you let it go, just in this kind of a motion. Now we did end up getting one fish, but we can't keep it. It's a bluegill. Well, we're not getting anything here but bluegill, so let's move to our next spot. The next place I'm going to try is just at the local boat ramp. Uh, it tends to hold shad just because algae and stuff it tends to grow on the wall and they like to feed off the wall. <laughs> a bunch of two inchers. Uh, normally when that happens we just move spots and go somewhere else because that's generally generally all that is in here when you start catching those. So we're going to go ahead to the other side of the lake, hit another spillway over there and uh, we'll see you soon.
know if you guys heard that or not, but some guy threatened to call the co uh, the game warden on me for catching buffalo, or actually they were uh, coolback suckers in my cast net, which is 100% uh, legal, and they just didn't like me throwing the cast net. I was a respectable distance away from them. I mean, I had to yell at them so they could hear me, and they had to yell back. Uh, some of the things you just have to deal with when dealing with other people. I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't cussing at them, nothing. I just let them know what I caught and it was perfectly legal. Uh, I caught two quillback suckers and two shad, two nice size shad, which is pretty much all that I need for bait. Just some things you have to deal with with fishermen. They don't like you throwing cast nets around them, anywhere around them. Uh, even if it's the, some of the only spots that you have to go to. I stayed a respectable distance away from them. Uh, I thought it was perfectly fair. And I just decided to get out of there before uh, cause any more confrontation. Mm -hmm.